Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel VLSA for all. Today, we will discuss about some important Verilog interview questions. Let us see our first question. This is our first question. Our first question is, what do you understand by dollar monitor, dollar display and dollar stroke? And this will be the proper answer for it. The dollar, first one is a dollar display. The dollar display statement is used to display the immediate values of variables or signals and it gets executed in active region and our second one is dollar monitor the dollar monitor statement displays the value of the variable or a signal whenever its value changes and the third one is dollar stroke dollar stroke signal displays the value of a variable or a signal at the end of the current time step let's see our second question our second question is what are the difference between blocking and non-blocking assignments and this will be the proper answer here the blocking assignments and non-blocking assignments are differentiated and the first one is the, the representation of blocking assignment the representation is using equal to operator sign between the LHS and RHS in the non-blocking assignment the representation is using less than or equal to operator sign between LHS and RHS and the second one is the blocking assignments are used to represent combination logic and the second second point in the non-blocking assignment is the non-blocking assignments are used to represent the sequential logic and the third difference is blocking assignments can be used in procedure assignments like initial always and continuous assignment to the nets like assign statements and the third difference is in non-blocking assignment is the non-blocking assignments can be used in procedural assignments like initial always and continuous assignments to nets like assign statement is not permitted and the four differences regular and intra delay both are additive for blocking assignments and in non-blocking assignment the regular delay are additive and intra delays are non-additive in case of non-blocking assignments here we can here the an example is given here in that example let's see the it is a main part here the has to a is equal to has to two and b is equal to has three three here this this has to which is outside of this assign statement is regular delay and inside statement is the intra delay here we see that the regular and the intra delay both are additive so that's why we get the output as the 2 is assigned at the 4 nanoseconds and 3 is assigned at the 2 plus 2 plus 3 that equal to 7 nanoseconds let's see in the non blocking assignment here the at the output the 2 is assigned at the 4 nanoseconds that is this has 2 plus this has 2 because the regular delays are additive and the intra delays are not additive that's why we assign, assign the 3 in 5 nanoseconds i think this will be the proper answer for it let's see our third question our third question is what is the difference between the function and the task this is the mostly repeated asked question in the interview of the system very in the very log here the function versus task the function according to the function a function can enable another function but not another task according to the task a task can enable other tasks and functions and the second point is the function always executes in zero simulation time in tasks tasks may executed in non-zero simulation time and third point is 
the function must only con not contain any delay event or time control statements task may contain delay event or timing control statements and the fourth point is the function must have at least one input argument they can have more than one input and the, according to the task task may have zero or more arguments of type input output or in out type and the fifth point is functions always return a single value they cannot have output or in out arguments but in task task do not return with a value but can pass multiple values through output and in out arguments this is all about the today thank you